Good morning. Welcome to Pastor John's Fireside Chat. It's Friday, May 15th. I'd like to share with you a thought from Psalm 27, it's verse 4. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. You know, one of the privileges that pastors have in their calling to care for the sheep is that we oftentimes see people uh, shortly before their death. And I always try to give people the opportunity, if they can still speak, uh, to confess their faith in Jesus Christ. It's a wonderful way to leave this life and, and head into eternity confessing Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And early on in my ministry, uh, back in January of 1991, I believe it was, I was visiting a man who was very close to death. Uh, in fact, uh, literally hours from death, but he was still lucid and he could talk. And, and I said to him, you know, in just a little while, you're going to see Jesus face to face. Have you thought what you'd say to him? And he smiled at me and he said something I've never forgotten. He said, Pastor... I think I'm going to be so overwhelmed by the beauty of his face, I'll be speechless. Whenever I read this passage, I think of Wally Roos, who knew where he was going because of the love of God, and he wasn't afraid to go. He was anxious to gaze on the beauty of the Lord, the beauty that showed itself by coming into this world to be Wally's Savior, to die for Wally's sins and to rise again to set Wally free so that he can enjoy the love of God for all eternity. I hope that you view God like Wally did, as a God of beauty, a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of compassion. Jesus did not come to condemn as he told us. He came to save us so that we could be his forever. May you gaze upon the beauty of the Lord as we continue our journey this side of eternity, knowing that one day you will be able to gaze on the beauty of the Lord forever because of what Jesus Christ has done for you. Have a great day in our Lord.